Okay, hello and welcome, Bridge Fundamentals. I'm going to play a couple of hands bridge online, comment about what I'm doing strictly at the fundamental level. This is just for beginners or people trying to get a little better understanding of what's going on around the table. If you're at that level, this book is definitely good, a good read uh, for you. It starts out very simple, how to deal four hands, but by the time it's done, it's covered the fundamentals very well. I'll be using the American Standard Yellow Card System or SAYC, SAC, Standard American Yellow Card, as it's often called on bridge base. My very, very quick bridge lesson points ranges. What is your bidding telling your partner about your points ranges? And what is your partner's bidding telling you about their points ranges? All right, add your points together, adjust for shape if you have enough points, bid game, otherwise get in there and compete. Now let's jump on into a table and see what we see. No profile, but uh, probably is familiar with American Standard Yellow card. I have six high card points and a four card major. First order of business is to deal that, is to bid that four, four spades. Bid one spade, bid those four spades. And notice West, uh, my seat has passed first. And that's interesting. There may be a slow chair here. We'll have a seat. And one spade after the pass tells partner that I don't have more than 12 points, but it leaves the range open. Partner bids one no trump. We have a minimum hand. One no trump is a minimum response. So 12 to 15 opening points, no more. Unlikely to have more. So we don't have enough for game. At best, we've got 15 and 6, 21, well short of game. Or at worst, we've got 17 or so. And we're in no trump. And not only that, but I have a very balanced hand. I have three, 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 four distributions. So, yeah. At this point, we just keep it quiet. Now, partner has 15 high card points. So, yeah, that was exactly the correct bid. It seems like it might be a lot. It would be very tempting to get in there and bid those diamonds again. But you've only got five of them, and bidding the suit twice shows six. So we really, you really didn't want to do that. So again, partner nailed their point range, described a balanced hand, right? It was five, three, three, two. And we're playing one no trump, and uh, should be pretty straightforward to make. Okay. Ten has come out, uh, the Ten of Diamonds. That's interesting. So, uh, as well as the King and the Ace. So, there's a Jack uh, between the Nine and the Queen somewhere. All right, another round of hearts. That Queen is good. And partner's going to try to pull the Jack, I guess. Yeah. All right, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Looks like two more diamonds out there. Mm, don't know the whether this 10 is good or not. No, I've been kind of watching and not playing. And these are always the challenges of no trump, especially one no trump. You don't tend to have a lot of points. Uh, it can be a challenge to play. Five tricks. Six with the queen of spades. All right. Partners playing to that jack of diamonds. Six tricks. No, I don't. Don't know if those clubs are good or if that spade is good. 
I guess we're just about to find out. Let's see if South has another spade. Yes, and the eight of diamonds. Yes. So down one. Uh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. It was not an easy hand to make, but I don't know. I'm trying. I'm thinking. Let's see what Double Dummy says. Double Dummy says, well, should have made uh, exactly unless there was a heart lead in the south. So I wasn't watching what was led. All in all, looked like a looked like a pretty tough hand to make. Let's move on to this hand. What I've got: seven, eight, ten, thirteen high card points, and a five card heart suit. So we will open our five card major. And see what partner says. Kind of an anemic heart suit, yes. But we've got 13 points, so let's get in there. See what we can do. And see if we get a response from partner. Now partner passed first. All right, so partner bids two hearts. And two hearts is just a minimum response. Six to ten. And I've only got 13, so at best we've got 23 high card points. I've got 14 with hearts. Uh, but at best we've got 24 high card points. We're not quite adding up enough for game. So we're going to pass. And partner has uh, 11 high card points. So that's somewhat misstated. Uh, let's start pulling Trump. We can come keep that diamond blocker. Let's see what happens with those clubs. All right. And... Uh, King, Ace took the king, right? All right, well, let's set up. Let's see how it goes with these spades. Looks like, oh, we got another finesse there. So we can go ahead and lead over to the 10. And we're trying to beat the jack of hearts yes and we did so we finessed the jack over here that's eight and uh we'll go ahead and take that jack and we'll see if we can finesse the king of we'll finesse the ace of clubs yes and we do so so the rest of the tricks are ours, and we can claim that. Uh, ooh, I'm going to cancel that. That's not true. <laughs> Oops. So uh, we have one more loser. Well, I'll claim one more loser. Here we go. We'll give up the uh, club. Queen to the queen of clubs. All right, guys. So, yeah, so the uh, we've got two hearts, the spade, we've got a club, and the queen of clubs is probably going to be an issue. And does the queen fall? No. Nope. And the jack falls to the queen, right? Yep. So, yeah. I mean, whatever. Anyway, um, so here we have a little bit of a problem in that partner didn't show 11 points. Um, I only had 13, 14, remember? 14 with hearts because I had the doubleton. 14 and 11 is 25. So we did have enough for game. And in fact, we made game. In fact, the fact that we 
had game but didn't bid it and other tables did, they're the ones that got rewarded for correct bidding. So there's a good uh, beginner's mistake. So four uh, high card points, I cannot respond. I need at least six. All right, so six is minimum responding level, so we pass. All right, so remember, your bidding is telling your partner your points ranges. 11 to 12 is an important po points range. And that's exactly why 11 to 12 is an exact is a points range. What should partner have done on that last hand? Uh, bid a new suit, right, at the two level. Uh, and I would say two diamonds, right, looking at partner's hand, right, because they're long diamonds. And uh, that tells me that, that even though they pass, they don't have 12, they've got 11, right? 10 or 11, probably, but still, that's where we're at. So I'm going to pass this. I still don't have 6 to 10 high card points, 6 or more high card points. So I'm going to go ahead and pass, the, pass again. Now, here's the thing. I probably could have bid two clubs. Maybe I should have bid two clubs. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to bid two clubs. Um, because partner knows I don't have six points. So if I pass, and then I go ahead and bid two clubs over those two diamonds, or one diamond, right? It's just being competitive. And partner should know, you know, not to get carried away with my response because I passed that first time. So I think um, I think I should have bid the two clubs in there, got in there, made them work for it, right? And we gave them a contract with one diamond, and so that's just uh, yeah, that's just beginner nonsense right there. Partners will play two aces already. And that is, what, nine or ten diamonds? I spaced out and lost it. Lost count. At least nine. Not that it matters much on my end. But always, even if you've got a lousy hand, you never know when that last, that last card you have is good or something, you know. So keep track of the game the whole time, no matter what you have. Don't, don't, don't assume... Just because you don't have good cards, that there's not something in there that's worth something, you know. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take this. Maybe a good idea. Maybe not. We know that queen is good, right? We know they don't have clubs, so we're going. Oh, oh my goodness! I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, oh no, partner took it with a diamond. Okay. I thought that club was good. Hmm. Yeah, it was good. Well, so partner took my good trick. This partner didn't realize that my queen of clubs was good. Okay, so here we have uh, basically a beginner uh, partner with which to uh, learn from. And that's always good. Now, here's that whopper of a hand. 14, 15, and 5 is 20. We have two two-card suits, so we don't have officially a balanced hand. We're going to bid our longest suit first. And remember, we have 20 high card points. We're going to have to show those points uh, if we get a chance. Not only that, three diamonds. Okay. Uh, that's, that's an interesting response. Typically, it shows a weak but long diamond suit. So, but we don't know from this partner, because this partner's not really playing Sacy. I think they're just playing kind of naturally. Is this a weak hand or a strong hand? Well... We're going to go to five diamonds. 
and keep our fingers crossed. The question is, if that was a strong hand, we'd want to be in six diamonds. And so we're not quite sure. Again, strong hands, right? I mean, if you've only bid two diamonds, I could have passed. So three diamonds is three diamonds. If a three diamond jump is used to show a weak hand, well, how do you show a strong hand? Well, you show a new suit, right? All right. So we've got um, six diamonds right there, right? We've got one spade loser and that's it. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, but kind of hard to say, right? Eight, nine, ten. Let's claim. Uh, lose, loss, lose. A spade. It's so kind of a difficult hand. So here's the thing. I bid one diamond. Partner's got a four, right? A four card, five card heart suit, right? Why are we not getting the, the one diamond, one heart bid? This is entirely wrong. One diamond, one heart by partner. I come back with uh, two no trump, right? Uh, even three no trump, maybe. And uh, then we should be off to the races. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? Uh, no six card suit. So we can't preempt, right? We can't bid a week two. One spade, well, and I've got five of them, right? And they're vulnerable. Hmm. Well, so I can overcall. Uh, whoopsie, undo, 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 undo. Two hearts, not two diamonds. Okay, two hearts. Three clubs now. Well, three clubs is better. And we're back to three spades. So, right, so overcall. Simple overcall on a CC card I can do with eight to 16 high card points, right? So be sure to learn your set of conventions, right? Learn the meanings. Learn, right? Look at this card as talking about high card points all over the place. So that's why I'm talking here in my lesson, points, points ranges, right? Here's a range, 15 to 17, 15 to 18, 8 to 16, simple opens, right? 12 to 20, so on and so forth. Look at these ranges here all over the place. Right? Your bidding, your conventions are talking about points ranges. Well, isn't that interesting? Okay, that's four... Uh, we're going to throw a club back over there. Okay, I think the partner led the... Okay. We're going to do that. The partner didn't lead me a heart back. And interesting. Well, I don't know. What do you think? Is partner void in hearts? After that 10? No. All right, so partner, why did you not lead me a heart back? Keep it up. All right, you know I've got long hearts. Set that jack up. Let's set that jack up. Now I've lost to the nine and I've lost to the king. So, yeah, bad play there. And what am I, so what am I saying? I'm saying once partner got the lead, 
partner should have played me a heart back, right? The king would have come down. I would have thrown low, but I would have the jack to cover the nine. That was there, but now, yeah, no, no, not even. Anyway, let's see what we got going on here. And now North is throwing, a, well, yeah, I'm still complaining about the hearts. All right, uh, that's three, so, hmm, is that heart good or not? I do I, yeah, I don't remember at this point. Yeah, it's good. Bummer. Oh, well. So it goes. At least at this point. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Oh, this is killing me. Where we should be setting them, we're not. Oh, all that for a heart response, you know? Oh, my God. See, there's this king again. Ah, oh, it's killing me. They're going to make that contract, and we could have set him down one, right? Ah. Oh. What's what Double Dummy says, right? Double Dummy says, says they make. Well, all right, so they make. Still, I think we should have set up one. Anyway, let's see. How many hands has that been? One, two, three, four, five, five hands, all right? In 20 minutes, so let's, let's just look at a couple of them. Things got to go. All right. And let's see if there's anything interesting to look at. Uh, let's review this one. Export. Hand viewer link. All right. And, okay. Re do some resizing here. And get me out of the way there. So, GIB. And GIB says, all right, they make unless there's a heart lead here by South. So South led a club. Eh, that doesn't mean, you know, so it, so we'll, let's see what happens here. King comes out, all right? King is covered by the ace. Where are we now? Still in GIB. Yeah, so we can still make it, but we have to do the right lead. Now, what would you do here? I mean, I like those diamonds. Uh, GIB says leading a low one's a really bad idea. So you wouldn't want to lead a low one over this low one. You'd really want to come around this way, right? Come around that way with those diamonds. Uh, we know that queen's good, but we, we, we kind of want to hold on to that as a blocker. Partner comes next with the spade. And so we're good with that. Jack and the ace comes out, All right? So we're still able to make it no matter what they do next. And here comes another heart. So what do we do knowing we're low over here and we've got ace, 10, eight. Do we just go ripped off and take that? GIB says it doesn't matter what we do. Our partner in this case took it with the ace, nice. So partner has a lead, right? So uh, partner can play out those diamonds, right? Or see what they does next. Plays out the diamonds. We're good for that. Loses a diamond. Okay, GIB says we're still able to make it. Here comes that uh, queen of hearts. Next, next, and we play low. GIB still in our favor. Three of spades. Now, hold on. So does that make sense? I think it makes sense. GIB says play high. Next, next, next. And now we're in dummy. 
So we want to bring a club back around or play that queen of spades. I remember a partner left that queen of spades on the board. And I was a little uh, concerned about that. And uh, here comes that six. So previous GIB says if we lead that six of diamonds, we're going down one. Yeah, and I believe that. I think really, I think playing there would have been good. Um, throwing a heart away, yeah, or a low diamond. So... Uh, okay, spade doesn't matter. And so we still have now, um, we're still in dummy. All right, and dummy says work on those clubs or throw that last spade. And leave those diamonds alone. So we don't want to instigate with those diamonds, yeah? And... Spade is very unintuitive. I like the club lead. You know, that's something that you might think is somewhat intuitive. Uh, okay, now, what is GIB? has got to lose something here. So we want to save the high diamonds and just start playing diamonds. And, ooh, interesting. No more diamonds over there. So we'd probably throw the nine. Uh, let's just do a previous on that. Throw the nine. And we'd find out that north is out. That north is out of diamonds. And we'd be like, ooh. So, now we still, let's just kind of keep at those diamonds here. Mm. And what do we do here? Take it with the queen, right? And there we are, seven. All right, now the rest are losers. So, too bad. All right, the south is going to take all the rest of the tricks, but we made our seven. So this is a good way to analyze. I don't, uh, I, leaving a stopper in spades is good but leaving a stopper is kind of a three no trump you know play um you want to still even if you have a stopper i don't think you should leave a stopper if you can't get back to it and play that trick all right and there was no way to get back to dummy dummy just had the spade so um this this analysis agrees should not have left that queen of spades on dummy unplayed all right, let's close. Two hearts. We already looked at this one. Um, let me do this here. Let me look and try to make this all a little, little more visible for everybody. Uh, what's a good way to do that? Don't know. It seems to have worked a little bit. Okay, so what am I talking about here with this hand? So East passed, because East has 11 high card points. And yeah, not an opening hand. And West, that's me. I came and I had 10, 13 high card points in a balanced hand, but I also had a five card heart suit, so I bid those five hearts. All right, so that, that, that's, whoopsie, sorry about that. So I bid those five hearts. Right, partner just bid two hearts. So partner showed six to 10, when in fact partner had 11 to 12. All right, and that, that was significant difference because 13, once we find out hearts of spade, I can reevaluate this hand to 14. So if I know partner's got 11, all right, then, then we could, uh, we could make bid and make game. So here, partner did here in this other table, right? One heart, three hearts. So I said bid a new suit. Um, you can bid a uh, jump. So this is a jump showing a good 13, you know, good, good hand. And I like this. This uh, after this pass, this is an invite to game. 
So an invite to gay meaning, am I at the upper of my range? All right, so what, remember, what was my range? 12 to 15, all right? But after reevaluating in hearts, I was 14. 14 and 15 is the upper of the range, right? So upper of a range means the higher or the second from higher, you know, just generally speaking. It's the way I'd say it anyway. Here, uh, same thing. So one heart, three hearts, four hearts. So it's a very fundamental, um, after you pass, uh, then a three heart jump definitely shows uh, 10 or 11 or 12 high card points or total points um, and is an invite to game. And so in fact, 11, in fact, in hearts, you can reevaluate this to 12 with the doubleton king, right? And so, yeah, perfectly, um, perfect, perfect way to play that. Uh, here we had a couple of passes. So this was incorrectly passed. Right, invites to three. And here we had two, and then partner went ahead and did three later. Well, that didn't help, right? Uh, here we had four, but not made. So just poorly played, but again, you see one heart, three hearts. One heart, two diamonds. So here, right, is somebody showing a second suit. Um, now, I, I know I said, okay, show a second suit but I really I think I should I should clarify that and, and maybe I'm not entirely correct on that really I think I should clarify that and say if you have not passed first second suit makes sense if you have passed first right go ahead and do a three heart invite the reason I don't want you to do a three heart invite if you haven't passed first so if it's just one heart and you haven't bid yet don't do three hearts if you've only got if you've got eleven points, but only three hearts. You should kind of really have four there. Little beyond the fundamental level. Definitely check with your club pro about that. Um, you know, but three hearts is uh, acceptable unless you know until you get into a real partnership and sort that out, right? So either check with your club pro or your your club partner uh here then naturally so um no second suit no six hearts to rebid to no trump three hearts so in fact so so this is showing uh you know 11 10 to 11 to 12 uh 11 to 12 whatever with the two diamonds to no right because you've got to respond to those two diamonds uh it's a new suit you have to respond to no uh, partner goes back three hearts. So now Wes knows exactly what partner has. Partner has three hearts, right? Or what is he? Wes knows exactly what East has, you know, or opener knows exactly what responder has. <laughs> however you want to call it, however you want to say it. Um, partner has 11 to 12 points. East has 11, 12 points and three hearts, right? Great bidding. Perfect way to evaluate the hand. Um, and again, you know, it's it's really how do you how do you decide? Are you at the upper level of your range? You've got at least eleven, right? You've got a part, your partner's got at least eleven. You've got fourteen. You've got twenty five points, right? Big game. Off you go. Give it a go. Mind you, it was not an easy contract to make by any means, and. Um, we won't evaluate it beyond that. Uh, what else? My table. Uh, they got one diamond south. Yeah, and and though we did we did kind of get an imp for that. Well, no, we got a point one, so it broke even. But I'm not surprised that other tables didn't get in there at least bid one no trump or two hearts, right? Uh, okay, so south bid two hearts, right? Um, anyway, I just felt bad. Partner opened one club, right? My partner opened one club. Uh, seven, uh, yeah, that's 12. And one club, perfect bid, right? And um, I'm just wondering if other tables, anybody else ended up in two clubs. I don't see it. It's a bit strange. In fact, I don't see that east west. Uh, 
Yeah, well, there's one that opened up one diamond, and actually that kind of makes a little more sense, you know. One diamond down one. So, yeah. Hmm, strange. All right, well, that was just kind of a anemic can that just was kind of going wherever it was going. All right, so here now, now, let's see what happens here. All right, uh, there's no more refreshing, apparently. Uh, other tables, did anybody get to the six diamonds? No, but somebody did get to six no trump. Yeah. So here we have a two no trump. So this is a little more advanced in the West. I said I had uh, two doubletons and I wasn't going to open two no trump. Uh, so we're going to leave that alone. Here these people, same thing, bid two no trump. And nobody else made it up to uh, six diamonds, which which I think is a bit weird. Um, hmm. I can see it. So there's a whopper of a hand. And what did I really want? I wanted one diamond, one heart. Right? That's what I wanted. One diamond. There's three diamonds. One diamond, three hearts. Yeah? One diamond, one heart. Yeah, that's what I want. Well, okay, so I'm jumping, rebidding two clubs. Now, not two clubs, three clubs. So I'm showing, so I'm doing a jump shift. Um, so a jump to a new suit, a shift to a new suit, a jump. So I could have done two clubs, right? But instead, uh, West bid three clubs. So it's a jump and a shift to a new suit, All right? Uh, here, here, I don't know why they didn't end up in six diamonds, except they were worried about those spades. Yeah, and I can see that. So, yeah. Um, six diamonds in the west. They're just lucky that north has to do the initial lead. So I can see, I can see why people didn't get there. Uh, I guess that's probably us. All right, so, um, yeah. Whether or not she should have got to six uh, diamonds or not seems to be a little bit debatable. Uh, but other tables did end up in six. No Trump really, uh, I think, sort of more advanced uh, bidding at that level. So we're going to leave that alone for now. Uh, three spades in the north. And uh, they got seven imps. So before this, right, here's one hand, two, three, four. We were holding our own, right? I mean, we weren't winning. They did get uh, point nine for those against those advanced players that managed to find six no trump, right? But we weren't losing any major imps, you know, any major amounts of imps, right? So we were holding our own. Well, here we failed. And why did we fail? So some double dummy says they should have made, but look at how many partnerships got set. Not only that, but doubled and set. So we were the only table to let them make their three no trump. Yeah, let's have a look. Let's have a closer look at that. Okay, where am I over here? So GIB says, well, they're going to make this, no matter what. And I was complaining up a storm. Ten hearts, and now ten hearts. And we're again, we're playing against three no Trump. So what do they do? They did low. Well, what do I do here? So I took it with the ace. They're still making that. Now what do I have? I got to lead back. Well, they're still making that. I threw away my club here. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. So they, they went with his 10, naturally, took it with the ace. I wanted a heart back. Hartback says they're even making more. 
And said it's even better to give me the club back. Give me that club back. Oh boy. So I take this trick. Now well, what should I? What did I do that was so bad? Well, I played a. I played that diamond, right? No, I played a heart back, didn't I? Yeah, up against that nine and that king. I think that was just a horrible idea. It says one. It says plus one there. So really bad. Really bad. Let's go ahead and, and throw the high diamond. And then where are they going to take this? Uh, either could be any place, right? Could be any place. Let's see. Let's play low, let's play low, let's play the king, All right? And can we set them possibly? Okay, let's play and we find out there's a void. Oh, now they're down one. There you go. So they needed to finesse the spade on my side, but it wasn't obvious, no good obvious way to do that. Let's go, let's do some previous on that. Uh, let's do that 10. Let's do that, that, and that. Yeah, so then I can still make it there. I don't know. It was a pretty hard play, hand to play. I think you had to be a pretty. I think you had to be a pretty advanced player, not pretty advanced, but you really had to know. Yeah, you figure had to figure out obviously how to deal with me with West having five spades to the queen jack. You know that was some nasty stuff right there. I was complaining about that um, club lead, but that did set up a uh, trump so that was nice uh, I just I think maybe you know let's not blame partner so much I'm complaining partner didn't do so well uh, but I think my heart you know when I went back and uh, led hearts so not there but now I trump this and then here I threw a heart here Set up both of those, king and the queen. Well, I'm saying partner set them, set them up. Yeah, right. Let's not. Let's let's. Um, I heard on a good podcast the other day. Right, the rule of good intentions. Right. Let's not go around finding fault in others. Right. Let's assume they have good intentions. Let's not only look. Uh, not look for fault in others first. Let's look for fault in ourselves first, and that's certainly a lesson you have to learn and bridge over and over and over again. All right. Anyway, hope this helps. Take care. A uh, little bit of a long of a podcast, but I thought with all the sort of beginning level play, it was good to do a little um, after afterhand analysis, and definitely at the beginning level, at the fundamental level. Um, Get, get in there and look at these hands, right? Even if you're playing over the table, even if you're playing at the club, you can get these hands uh, emailed to you or sent to you electronically somehow. You can usually get them into here if you work at it. You can get them into this program, start using this, this GIB analysis thing. Uh, and analyzing not only, you know, should the hand have had a different outcome, but it, how could you get to that at different outcome? Anyway, it uh, or you just talk to people, you know, right? Find somebody then and talk about it. Uh, why not? What else are you doing, right? All right, that's it for me today. Take care. Bye-bye now.